We're going to start. Now we're on the uh, the hotline. We're at the stove process. So you're doing something before. You're entertaining, okay? Or you're ready to sit down. Uh, you're going to plan this. Say, uh, honey, I'll be right there. I'm going to go put together the scampi, and we'll sit down in five minutes and eat, okay? So what we have to do is I have a hot saute pan. I have boiling water for my pasta, all right? A lot of people ask, what is a saute pan? A saute pan... This is a saute pan, just has sloped sides, okay? Sloped sides will allow the moisture to actually wick away from the pan and won't keep moisture inside. A straight-sided pan would be called a sautouse, okay? A sautois, which would mean keep the moisture in. But a saute pan, okay, allows the moisture to leave, which keeps the real flavor inside. Now, everyone hears that word a lot, saute. What does it mean? It actually means to jump, okay? to jump. It's a French word for to jump. So when you're sautéing, you'll see a lot of people jumping in the pan. My advice to you is not to jump too, too much, okay? Leave the pan on the fire. But it's a very quick way of cooking, all right? So I have a hot pan. I'm going back. Nice, nice shot. Extra virgin olive oil in the pan. my shrimp, salt, fresh pepper. Oil is shimmering just out of smoke. pasta takes about three minutes to cook. The shrimp take three minutes to cook. So at this point, my fresh pasta goes into the boiling water. My shrimp are cooking now. The great thing about a dish like this is you can prepare all of your prep or miso cloth, like I said, the night before. Have chopped garlic, have your shallots, have your spinach ready to go. Okay. Most people you buy fresh pasta these days, so it's a refrigerated product. You take it out to room temperature, it's ready to go. You can see the shrimp starting to curl up. Saute, okay? You're creating high heat on the outside, on the bottom, and you're going to start to see it sweat. Once you start to see it sweat on top, we're going to turn it over, okay? You can see the color change in the shrimp. The shrimp have now turned reddish brown, okay? When something turns brown, okay, that's what you want because that means it's caramelizing. Natural sugar is the caramelization of that shrimp. What's going to make it taste very earthy, okay, sweet and savory with the salt and the fresh black pepper. The shrimp looks beautiful. Now we're ready to go. Pasta is boiling. Again, three minutes. We're going back to what we just chopped is our garlic and our shallots. They're going in. And these are going to saute and cook as the shrimp continue to cook also. You want to regulate your heat at this point, so you make sure that you don't burn the garlic. If you burn the garlic, it will turn very bitter. You can see it starting to brown right in here. Perfect. Now we're going to stop that browning process. That's where the wine comes in. Now we're into something that's called a reduction. We're going to start reducing this wine, take away some of the alcohol flavor, and bring out the natural flavors of this particular wine. Today we're using a Pinot Grigio. You want to use a Chardonnay? Again, it doesn't really matter. The wine is reducing now. Perfect. Now we're going to make, we're going to finish this because it's really, the shrimp are just cooked. All right? Shrimp are just cooked. I'm going to pull it off a little bit. Now the aromats go in. Crack black, crack red pepper. Our lemon zest and our parsley. A touch of Parmesan cheese. This is a completely optional ingredient to the dish. If you don't want to use the cheese, that's fine. Now, how do we bring this all together so it becomes a sauce? 
That's where the butter comes in. Butter that's at room temperature is going to put in cubes of butter. And we're going to swirl that butter in just so it melts into that. And it's going to create something that's called a beurre blanc. Okay? That butter melting slowly into the wine is creating. You can see the thickness of that sauce happening right now. The color is perfect from the caramelization. Now we're going to add fresh lemon just at the end. And my garnish now is the spinach. And we're gonna let, it, let that steam right on top. It's gonna to wilt right into the shrimp. Pasta, three minutes, is done. I wanna add a little bit of this pasta water into it to create more of the sauce. Now we're done. This is where you start to look like a bit of a pro. Take your pasta. Pasta goes in first with some of your spinach. Now you start to move the shrimp around the outside of your dish. Simple presentation. shrimp scampi you can make at home. This is actually the best part, okay? Uh, sitting in a dining room after you've created something and you get to eat your dish. I put cheese inside, but I like to have a little extra cheese on top. Colin, how about a little extra cheese on top of there? That's Beautiful, thank you. These shrimp are so big, you need to cut them with a knife. A little pasta, a little spinach, a little twirl. A little skipjack bread, a little wine, awesome, bon appetit.